In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you all. And welcome, welcome as we gather this morning to celebrate a long life well lived. Born into the world as Honor Kilcoyne, we send her home, Honor Munley. She lived up to her name. With great honour, with great dignity, she lived. So we gather to celebrate her life, her long life, as we mourn her passing. We sympathise again with all of the family who are here, especially Maureen with you. And we extend our sympathy to all of you here in the church and indeed all of the family may be watching on the internet this morning as we sympathise as well with John and with Tommy, with Sean, with Karen, with John, with Thomasina, with Peter, with Ellie, with Nisha, Joyce, Noah, Eden, Adam, Petey, Nula, and all of her extended family and friends. No matter how long we live, we come to this day, we have feet of clay. As we pray now for honour, we pray healing, forgiveness and peace into her life, eternal peace. You came so that honour may have life and have it to the full, Lord of mercy. You came to comfort those who mourn, Christ of mercy. You came to show her the way home to the Father, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery your servant Honor, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. So we sit now as John reads the first reading, Karen sings the psalm, and Sean reads the second reading. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain he will remove the morning veil covering all peoples and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth, for the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, see, this is our God in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exalt and we rejoice that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A crystal shield, a crystal fall, in it lunge, God of Tershin, a crystal wheel. A crest on the ask, he lent of Jack a caster shin. O Scottish, it's a wish cabas, the law of a crest, and all our rain. O He bore us the grass, go around A reading the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. As for me, I am already being poured out as a libation, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on there is reserved for me 
the crown of righteousness which, lo which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all those who have longed for his appearing. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. And then he began to speak. And this is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle they shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right, they shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons and daughters of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Not sure if anyone around here has ever fished out a, a pearl oyster. If you have, you're in luck. The oyster itself has an outward skin, but it keeps closed tight to keep its treasure in. And within that is a deep treasure, a pearl, a pearl of great price. Probably in some ways seems to sum up honor. Great treasure. But she treasured, like Our Lady, so much in her own heart. She was a woman of tremendous dignity. She was a woman of great courage and great love. She was an extremely private woman as well. We want to respect that today in sending her home to God. A long life that saw an awful lot from the shores of Clue Bay to England like many of her time and back again to give her family the best she could and the best she did, the love she passed on. And no doubt her two daughters treasure that and always will treasure it as that pearl of great beyond all price, the pearl of honour's love. And she's united with all those she loved in this world, particularly we pray with Nora. We think of her today. Nora was always, I'm told, ready for the day when honour went home. But she was ready from this side. How much more ready she must have been on the other side to welcome her to the eternal home. As honour provided a home for her in this world, no doubt she has welcomed her home now to God. All those many years ago, when she was brought to be baptised first herself, the Easter candle burned for her. And that day she was promised entry into the life, the death and the resurrection of Jesus. She lived that life long and she lived it well those closest to her know how well. She's gone through the gates of death after over a century, unthinkable for most of us. Not only her 
being born, but her early living is something that most of us will only ever know from history books. She's gone through the gates of death. And we pray that she now shares in resurrection, that she's in that place. And as we lay her to rest today in the soil of her native parish, her home place, we pray that her soul is truly at home with God, but her spirit will always rest with those who love her. May she rest this day in eternal peace. Amen. We stand now as Peter and Thomasina, Ellie, Catherine and Maureen lead us in the prayer of the faithful. those who trust in the Lord death is the gateway to eternal life and so now we bring our prayers for her we pray for the family and friends of Nanny in these difficult days may the Lord be their strength and their consolation Lord hear us Lord graciously hear us we pray for all our departed brothers and sisters Today we pray for our mum. May Nanny be reunited with her in God's kingdom where there is no more pain or suffering. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who are suffering with ill health at this time. May they experience the loving kindness of the Lord in and through all who are journey with them. Lord, hear us. We pray for all the nurses and carers, particularly the nurses and carers at the Pilgrim's Rest, who are so good to honour in the last months of her life. Lord, hear us. Today we are saddened by the loss of one whom we have loved. May our hope in the resurrection and the promise of eternal life bring us comfort and turn our sadness to joy. Lord, hear us. We remember all of our loved ones who are here and all those who can't be with us. We remember John in a special way. Today, we pray health and healing on you, John. Lord, hear us. And all the deceased of the family of the Kilcoyne and Munley families, we pray for them this day. We remember Nora in a special way that they may be reunited now forever in heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, may you support us all the day long till the shadows lengthen and evening comes. The busy world is hushed. The fever of life is over and work is done. Then in your mercy may we find holy rest, safe lodging and peace at last through Christ our Lord. We sit now as Nisha and Noah bring the gifts of bread and wine to the altar.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant honor, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving saviour may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so, with angels and dark angels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, my Lord and my God. And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, 
grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with all the saints we shall, who, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, that your servant, Francis our Pope and Francis our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Honor, or Nora, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. And from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, remember especially her beloved daughter Nora and all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall become like you for all the ages and praise and exalt you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. We stand, in whatever language is our own, as one family under God, at the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy to know my roof, but only say the word, so I shall be healed.
Burning Ross, the water of the Gurra Tu or Malas Me, because the water of the Mayor Gakila Ulk, because the water of the Major Anonymous Kerp, because the water of the Mayor Wiris or Cheer, because the water of the Mayor Nick Nabin, Gar the Nangal Os Makyun, Cheer Rome, because Cheer Lom. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our sister honour may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. So thank you all for being here today. Thank you to everyone who's involved in, 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 in the ceremony. Thanks to Karen who put everything together. Thanks to Mary, to the choir, to Peter and Jason, our sacristans. Special word of thanks to Michael Kilcoyne, our undertaker, for his professionalism and dedication to duty. As always, Michael, always good to see you here. And thanks to everyone who is involved in any way, our minister and everyone involved. So we come now to the final prayer of commendation and farewell for honour. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for honour and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting. We take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see her again and enjoy her friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. We use the holy water, a reminder of her baptism. Imagine over a century ago, when she was baptized into the life, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus. And then the incense, reminder of our prayer and our respect for her. To your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Honor with the sure and certain faith that all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings that you bestowed upon Honor in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help those who remain to comfort one another with assurance and faith, until we all meet in Christ, we are with you and with our sister forever. In peace now, let us take our sister to her place of rest.
you want to hold that?